All right, what's your name? Terry Davis. This is Temple OS. It's a 64-bit PC operating system. It has an Oracle. That's why it's called Temple OS. Um, the main purpose is for doing offerings and of uh, hymns and art and poems and stuff, and then getting a response from God in the Oracle. Anyway, it includes a 64-bit um, a uh, kernel. It's public domain, 100% open source. It's got a 64-bit compiler and, and an assembler. It's got a language that's like C++, C++ but uh, got improvements. Um, it's got uh, no crufty 32-bit code. It's 640 by 480. That's what God said. Um, anyway, it's got a music composing tool. It's got games, all sources included. It's like 130,000 lines. So uh, that ought to get you started. Yeah, that's a CIA guy right there. FBI, right? You can download my 2 meg distribution that has all the source code on it, and you can compile with my fucking compiler. You're a You're fucking n What I need is some concept of what my reality is. You know what I mean? For Terry, I have zero conception of what my reality is. I don't know. But then it starts getting strange. Like, uh, like uh, why does the radio seem to talk to me? Perhaps uh, I have to explain that when it responds, it's, it's sort of like a, a, a sort of a code. What do I mean by that? Um, when they say one thing, I interpret it as though they're speaking in code, speaking something else, and that something else is a response to what I just said. I get a very vague sense that um, I'm not just some stranger, you know? Yeah, my whole reality is very confusing. I, I'm really, no, I don't really have a choice. I have seen the sun, Huck Finn had the fun, I'm hit, BB gun, go, dogs, go. High tree, higher chair, phone book, unaware, still talk, Philly mare, go, dogs, go. Roll in, down and out, fairground, scream and shout, axle out, go, 
Dogs go. So like on, on my uh, on my uh, 80 mile walk, um, I was like uh, I was broke, right? I didn't have any I didn't have any money, right? And like uh, I'd, I'd like find a little bit of change and like. You know, they were kind of angels, like, watching over me. Met a guy, a little guy. He was, like, cold, so I gave him my, my jacket. Gave him 20 bucks. He said he was homeless. Then he went off in a taxi. I was like, what? <laughs> so, like, I'm kind of going through. I, have, I had 120 bucks. Anyway, I'm just going through money. Life's a lot better with money. <laughs> but, like, if you run out, then it's not, it's not the end of the world. I don't know. I really like this library. So, uh, come here and use their computer and uh, smoke out here. They must have been freaking out because uh, such an impure person was in their presence. Oh well, I was clueless. Now, now I used to have a respect for purity. So, uh, so, uh, well, it's good to be king. <laughs> but maybe. I, I think uh, maybe I'm just like a little bizarre little person who walks back and forth. Whatever, you know. <laughs> want to place yourself in a position to bring maximum glory to your creator so you go out there and be somebody glorious okay